Hello folks, uh, this time the question is of 2019, February March session and the question number is 42. So uh, the question number is 10 here. In this uh, question is concerned with the chapter uh, Mandy field as well uh, as um, many induction. So it says that the cross section through a current carrying solenoid is shown in figure 10.1. So for your information, let me say that this is the border of the solenoid, the straight lines. And these are the cross sections of the of the uh, copper uh, coilings actually. So this is current into base, out of base. So it means that uh, the current should be flowing like this from here to here, again here to here, again here to here, again here to here, and so on. So on figure 10.1, on this figure, draw field lines to represent the magnetic field inside the solenoid. So we have to draw. Uh, Mary field line. So inside this thing, one line will be uh, the the main uh, Ebola line will be the central line, which should be exactly at the center. So let's say this is the center, the center. So it should go straight like this, straight like this. And we have to draw a few more lines, few more lines. So at least two or three lines like this, uh, uniformly spaced. It's because uh, the Mary field here is uniform, so they should be uniformly spaced. So let me draw like this. So in between these things, I draw one here, exact half, again half, and again half. So it should be somewhat like this, somewhat like this. So if I have uh, at a scale, I could have drawn it properly like this, and uh, again like this. So anyway, they should be equidistant from each other, even from each other. Now regarding their uh, direction, that requires us to apply the right hand rule of. Uh, uh, right hand thumb rule actually so, right thumb rule. so this thing says that uh, if this uh, thumb represents the current the, the direction of other fingers represent that of the field lines so what I can do here is here current is out of this space so current is coming like this along these things so magnetic field should be here so magnetic field lines of force should be like this so it means from right to left if I go through this here so if so it is current into the plane of the paper and the field lines will be here will be here so this means that uh, these fingers are pointing here here so current here field lines here so in both cases it it says that the field lines will be going from right to the left right to the left so uh, and this can also be made easy by uh, using these symbols here current into page is somewhat like this crossed here and current out of base is somewhat like this dot also. So if I start like this, it also forms things easy. So like this, like this, and here, like this. Now, in number B, so let us draw these things here also. So then it makes things complete. Don't forget that. So number B says state for his law of uh, failure induction. So there's no need to do that because we have done it uh, many, many times. Now, number C. A coil of insulated wire is wound on a, to a soft iron core. Soft iron core. So we have got coil here, emitter, switch, and a source of DC. The coil is in series uh, with a battery, a switch, switch, and an emitter like this. So initially I said just roughly. Now it's official language here. Now use laws of electromagnetic induction to explain why. When the switch is closed, the current increases gradually to its maximum value. So when the current is when the switch is closed, it says why the current is current increases uh, gradually. So when the switch is uh, uh, we put on the switch here, the current start to increase. So when current starts to increase, the field lines also start to expand. Ex also expand. And uh, their density also increases. If so, if so, if so, uh, then the uh, the flux the flux will change or will, will sweep or will cut these uh, uh, coils. The flux, the expanding coils, the expanding flux lines from one of the coils will be cutting all the others, and the flux due to another another uh, wires will be cutting all others. So it is cutting everywhere there. So changing flux everywhere there. So because of changing flux, that uh, develops some sort of uh, EMF, EMF, and that EMF is opposing in nature, according to Lynch law. So when uh, this EMF opposes the present EMF, then the current uh, cannot increase rapidly. So that's why it has to increase slowly. So what happens is, 
when I switch on current increases that's true the current increase of current causes increase in the field lines the expanding field lines the uh, increase in the number of field lines which makes it the flux lines or field lines change in other coils or coils inducing EMF and when EMF is induced that is opposing nature according to Lazen's law the origin of EMF itself is opposing nature and if it is opposite it will oppose the present EMF the already existing there that's why the current rises slowly it cannot rise as rapidly as as uh, in normal circuits so that's the answer that you should be writing here